Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Ben. Ben for Aberdeen in Scotland. Let's see what Ben has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you, Ben? I'm brilliant, thanks. How are you, Will? I'm very well, thank you very much. Hey, Ben, so welcome to William and the Magic Box. So I've got here this lovely box full of random fun questions, okay? Ready? Yes. Hope you like it. Let's do it. Let's get the first question, Ben. Let's do it. Um, ben, when was the last time that you laughed so hard that made you cry? Um, last night. Last night. Um, I was I was playing <laughs> poker with my flatmates and um, someone went all in and uh, it turned out they had absolutely nothing and it was hilarious. Um, so yeah, that was the last time. I had absolute tears run down my face. It was brilliant. <laughs> right, let's get another question then. Let's do it. Right, next question is Ben. Um, if you were to raise a child, what what would be the most important thing would you like that would like them to learn? Um, integrity, I think. I think it's really important to just be to be genuine um, I think I suppose like I think about it from from an industry perspective I suppose I mean I, I think that it always comes out whether someone does have good integrity or not and um, at the end of the day I mean <laughs> I've obviously not to name names but I, I've worked in the past with people who you know in big groups and it's always obvious who who has kind of that, that good a good spirit, I would say. Good spirit and, and a genuine person, and it really Absolutely. goes a long, long yeah. way. And I think it's so important. Um, I'd like to think that I've got good integrity, and um, I think that generally the people who have good integrity end up doing well. I think good things happen to good people. Um, so that would definitely be the most important thing that I'd want my child to have. So, yeah. let's, let's go for another question. Let's do it. Right, next question is, um, what's the best advice have you ever given? Ooh, best advice I've ever given? Oh, that's a I think I had a friend in school um, back in academy who, who had a bit of a tough time sometimes. And um, I think he, he found it very difficult to kind of speak to people. And um, he had quite a lot going on in his past, which was really unfortunate. Um, and, and I kind of, you know, I was good friends with him. He was in my classes from first year, um, so I knew him very well. I felt more than maybe anyone at the time did, um, and he would have known more about me as well. Like, we were very close. Um, I think there was a point, maybe around about 15 or 16, where um, he was finding things very difficult, and, and I kind of said to him that, that if you do push and, and work hard, um, rather than maybe going down other routes, then I really believe that you you've got the ability to to go to college or go to university, um, and I'm sure that that wasn't the defining factor. But um, he did go on to go to college. He's a, he's um, doing sports sports coaching right now, um, and he's absolutely loving it. And I think that and he he started doing volunteer work with working with children and doing basketball, um, wow. and I think he did a wee bit of football also and. I mean, I you know I'm still in good contact with him today, and uh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And he, when he speaks about what he's done, you know, he'll be like, "Oh, I organised this session, or we took these kids. They were absolutely brilliant." And I can see his face light up, and I think he's really found something that was his passion. And I'm so glad he did, because I feel like at one point it really could have gone either ways. Um, and again, I don't think my advice was was the turning point, but you you know, I think it, right. Let's get another question, Ben. Let's do it. Me that doesn't know how to dance. Who told me that? <laughs> <laughs> again, the modesty come along again. <laughs> right. Um, what's the best first date have you ever been? You can share. Best first date I have ever been um, was again actually yesterday. Very interesting. Oh. Um, I uh, I I had arranged to meet someone for coffee. Um, and I actually had to, for, for part of my university, I had to do a bit on um, lighting, which is not really my, my usual forte. So um, okay. I'd arranged to meet someone who 
um, later on in the day who, who was to show me this fireplace that I was hoping to use and still am hoping to use for, for part of a scene um, to light the room because I think it would be very nice. Um, and so I was just meant to get a quick coffee in, but we end up chatting for a couple hours at the cafe. Um, and I said, look, if you want to come, I mean, it'll just be 10 minutes and I can, uh, we can have a look at this this bit of lighting. So and so we went and met the guy um, and he showed us the lighting. I was also able to see the, the university theater for the first time, which was very exciting. Um, and yeah, we went. We end up spending spend the whole night together. I made um, I made a dinner. I actually messed up the dinner. I was draining the pasta and the lid slipped. It all fell in, so I had to start again. Um, but uh, all my flatmates, like yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, but all my, um, okay. all my flatmates were going out for bonfire night um, down at Musselburgh Beach, which is near where we stay. It's Queen Margaret University, and that. Um, and we got there. We had some drinks and like you know a speaker, some nice food. And we went down and everyone else was already there, but there were tons of wee fires up the beach and fireworks going off wow. and sparklers and music. Wow. It was honestly, it was like something out of a movie. And um, it was really wonderful, yeah. Let's go for another question, Ben. <laughs> Next question, Ben. Um, what has been the lowest point of your life? Wow. Um, mm, I think I went through I went through a breakup after quite a long relationship at the start of just at the start of lockdown, um, mm. and I found that very very difficult for for months and months and months. I mean, you know, it's never easy anyway. But I think when it come when it coincides with something like lockdown, you know, it's a global a global pandemic. And sure. to be honest, I'd rather not speak about the the COVID so much. You know, I'd, I'd rather forget about it just when I can. But um, I think definitely. Yeah, that would have been the lowest point, I think, um, in terms of mental health and, and trying to deal with that. But also, on the positive side of that, I mean, the support I got from my friends and family was unbelievable. I mean, yeah, even even through online, they were able to totally help me through it. And, and um, it, it's, it's grown me and my family and, and me and my friends closer. Um, and, you know, it was, it was nothing... Um, nothing cynical you know on either side or anything like that but just the fact that my friends and my family were there for me so much was was oh. amazing yeah. yeah yeah i think that and i'm sure you will learn a lesson out of this experience as well and i'm sure when you look back exactly. you go like oh my god i'm you know for if you're grateful that that happens that makes you the person who you are and you're always going to remember and take a positive uh, part of it so everything counts in the end of the day exactly everything. yes yeah. everything happens for a reason i enjoyed the game so far ben Yes, no, I'm enjoying myself. It's good, it's good. Yeah? Okay, let's get another question then. Oh, Loved it. Yeah. Next question is, um, what motivates you the most in life? Um, passion, I think. Um, I mean, I, obviously I do act, and so that, that's kind of what comes to it, but I mean, I, I do, I am so passionate about it. I mean, um, I can't think of anything I adore and I've missed being on stage almost as much as I've, uh, throughout lockdown I miss my friends and um, yeah there's something about it being on stage that, that is totally unique to anything else and, I mean being in the zone and, and working with other people is me oh <laughs> three questions left <laughs> okay <laughs> all right let's do three questions left Oh. Tell us about your guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber for death. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wow. love his music. And I always have. Um, yeah, I think I think in general, like, things like boy bands and um, singers like Justin Bieber, definitely, that's my guilty pleasure. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I mean, if you ask any of my flatmates, I'll always, always hear songs like that banging from my room. Uh, and me singing and dancing when they walk in. Great! Two questions left. Let's do it. Next question is, who do we count the most for help? Uh, my mum. My mum, definitely. Um, I think the... Well, just naturally growing up, you know, uh, the mum, for me anyway, was, was the person that I would speak to most. Um, 
I think I think it's natural for uh, people growing up they kind of speak their mum about things like emotions and that. Uh, my mum is actually a, a lecturer in, in psychology um, at university, so I think that's a lot of what I do after nowadays. Is kind of because I've grown up being very open and um, talking about different different feelings and emotions and, and that kind of thing. Um, I mean, a lot of her articles that she would write are things like that, you know, I am experiment A and my brother's experiment B, you know. <laughs> um, and yeah. um, definitely has shone through into my dad and my, my brother and sister as well. Ooh, cool. Let's question Ben. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. Okay, oh wow. <laughs> Right, um, when was the last time that you cried and why? Oh, um, so so just the other week I, came, I went back to Aberdeen for a week um, and I was able to see my friends, socially distanced of course, because um, they all live together now um, and it was so wonderful. Um, and I think that, that when I got home, um, you know, I'd missed them so much and, and I still do all the time. We're, we're in contact online, but just seeing them in person for the first time in quite a while was was emotional and um, it was actually I've seen them recently but it was a time before that and um, I'd, I'd surprised them and um, and when I got home I think I just had a bit of a slump you know because when you see people that you love it also reminds you how much you miss them that you don't get to see them every day anymore um, and so I went home and had a wee cry to myself I think that that I think that was the last time oh sweet very sweet <laughs> Okay, Ben, it's not the end yet. What are we going to do now? I'm going to give away some words and just tell me one thing that comes to your mind, okay? Quick thinking. Religion. Uh, Christianity. Okay. Family. Uh, mother. Love. Hate. Okay. Money. Uh, power. Life. Love. Sex. Good. Uh, politics. Liars. Fear. Courage. Friendship. Family. Desire. Passion. Regret. And. Um, um, I can't think of anything. Regrets and um, remember. Okay. Wish. Believe. Last one. Acting. Love. Great. Okay. So now I'm going to to get a plane all the way to Aberdeen, and I'm gonna meet your mom, and I'm gonna ask her. Tell me the most beautiful thing about Ben and tell me something that he needs to improve on. What do you think your mom would tell me? Uh, my mom would tell you that the best thing about me um, is that I'm charismatic and I can bring people together. I can, I can, make, I can make people feel like they've known each other for 10 years. Uh, she would say the thing I need to improve on is oh I'm trying I've got a number of things I can think that she would say. Uh, I'm trying to think <laughs> what would be the most likely. Um I think she would say doubt. Um I quite often overthink things and um I think she would say sometimes I need to be a bit more sure of myself. Okay, you can ask me a question now bit. Okay, Will, what is your biggest drive in life? What makes you work? and get out of bed every morning? Very good question. I think what makes me um, like, or like, I just, this, what I'm doing right now, this project now, I think when I think about it, today I went for a run, uh, like a long run in the park, and I was just like looking forward to come back home and start, you know, these interviews. And, uh, and I just, this is what I'm doing right now. It's something that I just, I want to do for life. You know, I just started out. Oh, that's very interesting. I think it's, it's that's a brilliant answer, yes. Um, I think, yeah, that comes across so blatantly. I mean, yeah, you are very charismatic and bouncy and passionate and bubbly, and I absolutely love that. I think that's the kind of person that's always good to, to try and surround yourself with. Um, and like you say, you're kind of 
taking something bad and putting a good spin on it. And I think that those are the best people in life. And um, just before you go, if you can like share a positive quote or a positive message, something that inspires in life. Um, positivity is key. It is, especially nowadays um, with everything that's going on. I think that um, we've talked a lot of today about how we can kind of try and put positive spins on things, but I just think it's so important. Uh, you know, people in lockdown have really come together and whilst we have maybe some politicians and things like that that really aren't doing a great job, um, things like the NHS and and all the little things, you know, families coming together or Zoom calls, people finding a way to communicate with each other. I think just uh, it's it's human nature to try and to try and make something positive. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's always key, always key positivity. Great, great. If I ask you to sing a little bit right now, would you do that? Yeah, I would. I feel like I should sing something Justin Bieber now. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Okay, are you ready? Yes, I am. Totally. Why wow, this car could be automatic, systematic, hydromatic. Watch well, grease lightning. We'll get some overhead lifter and some four barrel quads, oh yeah. Keep talking, whoa, well, keep talking. Fuel injection cut off and chrome plated rods, oh yeah. I'll get the money, I'll get to get the money. Do, 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 do. I can't remember the words that bit. Uh, go grease lightning, you're burning up the quarter mile. Grease lightning, go grease lightning. Go grease lightning, burning through the heat lab trials. Grease lightning, go grease lightning. You are supreme. Uh-uh, chick supreme, uh-uh, for grease lightning. Hey! Thank you, thank you. Amazing! Oh my god, I love it! I love it! You made Brilliant. the whole thing! <laughs> well done, thank you so much, man. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. No, thank you so much, I really enjoyed that. Thanks for reaching out in the first place to contact me as well. It's been, it's been very exciting, I've enjoyed it so much, it's been brilliant. Great, great. All the best for your family, all the best for everybody, okay? Keep in touch. Thank you, you too. Stay safe. Two thumbs up. Take care. You so, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, to share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com, and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye. See you next time.